All right, folks, here's part two on how to run and use a uh, multi wee board. Set up a multi wee board, simple, easy, nothing to it. Bring back the fact that I have it on my uh, Nexus Neo and also on my Y6 Sky Hero. Um, all right, so let's scroll down. And click on I have my folder in my quads. All right, so pretty much. Well, let me go and get this one first. Pretty much, I my Adreno. This is my Adreno folder. Um, when I download Adreno, it the computer was smart enough to put anything that was supposed to run Adreno in and make it where it can run Adreno setup without me clicking on the folder, drag and drop it over to the folder and everything. Um, so that is part of the one Adreno. So like I say, you go back to that website, uh, White Spy Quads and the download and everything, it'll go back and pull up the Adreno setup and everything. Um, so pretty much, let's go through this. Like I said, this is what I use right here, the Motui Mega Easy uh, 3 Black GPS setup. Um, pretty much, you click on it, you see all these giddy, 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 giddies. Uh, right here, you see all them goody goodies. And what you want to do is, let me clear that out. Go to Mega Easy 3 GPS in that folder, and pretty much the Adreno will pop up. No, I don't want to download it. Uh, pretty much, this is show you where everything is. Uh, you got config alarms all the thing the main thing that you need to worry about here is to verify verify meaning once you write a code see if it takes the code if it don't take the code it's not good to write to the board um, also you have upload where you can upload uh, new firmware from uh, the two point the two point three the two point three to a two point four if they come out one Basically, if the 2.3 comes out, 2.4 comes out, you download a 2.4 mega file, and that's where you can go to the 2.4 mega file and upload it to your board. Um, so pretty much, there's no update. Mine's already been updated, so there's no need for me to go through and do the update again. Uh, but pretty much, if you do update it, you'll need your micro your micro USB cord, pretty much plug it up here and it'll light up the board. You, it's not like DJI, you don't have to have a battery to to power, power it up. So you pretty much, you plug it in and it starts powering up everything. Uh, you'll see lights and stuff start flashing and all that good stuff. That's my power light, let me know that it's been fired up and everything. Um, so you don't have to plug a battery up to to like DJI stuff. So you ain't got to worry about mis misfiring of the motors because the bat the computer's not putting out that much power to power up six motors, four motors, three motors, or eight motors. It's only it's barely a five volt going into that to power it up. But pretty much, you'll see where um, right here. Once you plug it in and everything, and you want to upload, download files, or uh, rewrite codes, you go to your tools and you make sure you're on the right board. So I'm on the Mega 2560 or Mega ADK. So you want to make sure you're on the right board. Uh, serial port, you want to make sure you're on the right com. Like I said, everything for mine is on the right com. All right, once you do all that and everything, say I verified a, a code, I verified a code and, and written a code. Matter of fact, let's go to the one I did yesterday. All right, I'm going to go down to Def H. Click on Def H. I'm in Def H file and where I did the code uh, for, for my pilot light. I want to thank Greg again for the codes on that. All right, we want to go to all mega mega types. All right, 
keep strolling. All right, right here. So say I made my changes here. All right, say I sit here and made a change here. And, you know, I didn't put the change in there. So you click verify. verify. Um, it should take it where, there you go. It don't see the buzzer pin section because I didn't put the right number in or I did not put the right file in or didn't put anything in, whatever the case may be. All right, so what we do, we're going to go back to where it was at. Go back to the def here. Click on it. I'm going to put six back in it. Verify. Once I verify, it's going to comply the sketch and everything. Give it a minute. I want to verify everything. And there it go, it verified. So say like I want to download it. Once I got it, I just hit upload to the, the thing, to the board, and it will take it and it will upload it to it. So like I said, this is just if you don't want, if you want the board to come naked to you and there's nothing written on it. But I advise people to, people who haven't done this before, I advise people to get the software already preloaded on their board it's nothing for him to do it he would do it with no issues and all you got to do is just plug stuff up and go with it all right to change uh different um vehicle types you have to go you have to go into your adreno setup and go to your config so we're gonna go right to the config, which is here. You're gonna go to the config side, click on it, and we're gonna scroll down, and then it'll go to your config setup. So type of multi rotor you can do: uh, buy, try, um, quad P, quad X, Y four, Y six, hex, you know, so forth. Even airplanes, and I haven't seen anybody done it on a helicopter yet, but it's it can do. It can work on a helicopter also. So just say like if you want to change it and you put the change it to the next section, you click on beside put click beside the number sign and you put backslashes in it and that turns it off. Alright, to put the to turn it on, just take the backslashes out and you'll see it to get bold and that's how you turn it on to activate what type of vehicle that you're going to be running. Um, so I'm going to put that back in there. Say we want to run Quad X. So we're going to click on it right behind the number sign. Let me get it again. Come right behind the number sign and delete the two backslashes and that turns it on. Put the backslashes back in there and it turns it off. All right. Lose the Adreno set up out. All right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to my quads. I don't know why I closed that out. Go to quad folder. And I'm going to go back. I'm going to go to configuration. The configuration is part of the download. So all that will come with it. I'll go back to his website and I will show you. You got to download the configuration tool. But this is pretty much the configuration tool is... This is what driver I'm running that. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna unplug it. Alright, plug it back in. You got the make sure when you use this tool, you have the configuration, you have the USB plugged into your board first before you pit pull up the configuration tool. Alright. So you know, yes, I want to run it. All right. All right. This is the configuration tool. So they see my com right here, which is com4. I'm going to click on com4. Click on com4. All right. Once I click on com4, I'm going to hit start. And then you'll see everything, my PIDs on the board, uh, 
my altitude hold everything that's considered on this board and right you see graphs and everything so everything functioning well uh the acc the gyros the mag all of that um right here where i have switches assigned to it um here you have your motors and everything um here you have your pitch roll and, and stuff um once you get this board you have to tell the radio what's up so you have to reverse uh but bind it first to the receiver but after you do that you have to reverse aileron and pitch and leave elevator normal then here you have to go in which i had posted a video way back you have to go in go into your travel adjustments and you want to get a thousand low and two thousand high so Wait a moment, I'm gonna put it on pause and I'm gonna show you how that done. Okay, I'm back. Um also another good thing about it, it's a if you have your plug plugged into your mega board, it would be coming from your USB. You can also turn your transmitter on and cause it'll power up your receivers. So power up the receivers and everything. So I'm gonna show you what we're talking about. All right, as you see here, I'm getting all my settings. See, I have two thousand high and two and a thousand thousand five low. So what you have to do is go to your travel adjustments. So let's stand this up. Go to your travel adjustments. And you see here, there's my settings. So if I change, if I change my settings for the for for the throttle, let's do for the throttle. So I change the settings, you'll see where it'll get to where it needs to be to be right dead at a thousand. You see what I'm saying? So it changed from 130 to 133. So it got to know it's seeing a thousand. And it got to know it's seeing 2,000. So pretty much it needs to be set accordingly, just like so. So, and say like, let's see, let's go to rudder. All right. Rudder, we get in 1989. That's kind of got a little trim in it and 1,000. So I won't worry too much about that. That's because I got a little bit of trim in it and everything. But that's pretty much how you set this up to go for your travel. So you got that, like I said, you got to have that thing seeing a thousand one way and two thousand another way. So you want, like for instance, you want down elevator, you want up elevator, which when pulling sticks towards you at a thousand, and you want, <coughs> excuse me, high elevator to give you two thousand. Okay, I'll come through. Um, so like I said, you just want to make sure you get your travel adjustments reading a thousand, thousand high, thousand low, thousand, uh, two thousand high. All right. Once you know, once you have all that set up, then you can proceed to do whatever you need to do. Uh, oh, one more thing about quads and multi rows period. Remember to calibrate your ESCs. You have to calibrate all three ESCs, all four ESCs, eight, six, ten, twelve, what may you have. So all of them can work as one ESC. If you don't have the ESCs calibrated, guess what, folks? It's not going to fly right. It'll fly, but it's not going to do like it's supposed to do. So you got to calibrate your ESCs. All right. Uh, let's see. All right. Where was that? Okay. Like I was telling you earlier on the last one, see how it shows up my uh, tricopter as it's going to be uh, a Y6. And you notice how the motors are turned, all right? This right here will show you how your props need to be turning. Six, five, six, five, and two, which two is on the bottom, needs to be turning in the same direction. That's clockwise. All right. Eight, seven, and three. Eight and seven is on the bottom, and three is on top. 
So that needs to be turning counterclockwise. So, and it'll show the same thing if you plug up a quad. If you plug up quad, it'll show you a quad format up here instead of a Y6 format. Alright, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to pause the video here and plug up my uh, FPV quad so you can see the difference. Alright. Okay, folks, I'm back. And so I plugged up my FPV machine. And you see here where you have the quad configuration now. Um, 